Today we're going to make cookies and work with gouache paints. Happy holidays, dear hearts. Can you believe that this is the very last video for 2021? And today I've got something completely different to do. So today we're gonna to make cookies and we're going to work with gouache paints. So I, this is the season for gift giving, right? And I decided, I always give away cookies, so I thought I would work on the recipe, make a recipe card, make a mixed media recipe card to go with the cookies. So I thought that would be fun and I thought you might wanna come along for the ride. Okay, so this is my uh, chocolate Christmas cookies recipe. And I only make these at Christmas time. And they're pretty simple. I mean, it's only like six ingredients, so super easy. There's no flour in it. Um, and I just think they're really fun. So I thought I would print the recipe out, which I did. I centered it and I'm going to be using mixed media paper and I thought it would be fun to use gouache. Now we haven't used gouache in the studio here um, before, but I thought it would be a fun thing to do to kind of illustrate around the recipe and give this with the cookie. So um, I thought I would feed two birds with one hand of seed today, make a video for you and make some make a present for someone that I love. So that's what we're up to. Um, so there's a secret about gouache that you need to know. You don't need a full set of gouache paints. You really don't. All you need is a tube of white gouache paint. Mix it with your watercolor paints and now you have gouache, okay? Um, now you want to keep the integrity of your paints intact. Um, you don't want to put the gouache into this. You want to take this and put it into something else and then use the gouache. But um, it makes a wonderful uh, kind of a flat look and you're going to be working, will work dark to light and the white paint can be added last for highlights and details and it's just really really yummy. So I thought we would play with that today. And of course, Don will have this on our Amazon links. And thank you so much for using our Amazon links. We really appreciate it. Um, as we appreciate all your wonderful donations on our PayPal uh, tip jar and all of your kind um, oh, comments and shares and thumbs up and likes. So we're going to talk a little bit about watercolor and gouache next. So mixed media is basically when you take several different media and put them together. Today we're using uh, watercolor, we're using gouache paint, and we're going to be using, um, this is a uh, Faber, a Faber Castell uh, metallic gold pen. And I thought it would be fun to make doodles on here. So we're just gonna play today and have a really good time. Um, the difference between watercolor and gouache is basically that gouache is more opaque than watercolor. And um, you just use it just a little bit differently. Um, so this is these are the watercolor um, colors that we're going to be using. And uh, I pulled them out of my, um, my little kit here that I got in Paris. And I love these colors. I picked them out myself. If you go there, um, you can do the same thing. Um, and But you can use any kind of watercolor paints that you have on hand. This is just a little set of Cotman that I have. Um, and then of course we've got watercolor pencils. And we're going to put the design down on the paper with our pencils and then come back. So I have, um, what I wanted to explain to you about this is that this is the watercolor and then this is mixed with white gouache paint. So you can see it doesn't change that much in, in the color, um, but it, it's much more opaque than, it, than the watercolor is. Okay, so this is my rough draft and um, I think it's a little bit busy. I think we're gonna make it just a little bit simpler um, but kind of gives me an idea of where I want to go with it. And I think I'm going to make a simpler top up here too. This was kind of difficult to make and I think it'd be harder to do um, with the gouache paints, especially on video. So I think we're just going to do like one candy cane and then um, 
you know, the outside edge of the greens. And I tried to come up with something that everyone could do that would be pretty simple. Um, just a few lines, just a few dots and make it look really pretty. So what we're gonna do today is, you know, cookies take time and um, we have to consider that too. So we're gonna be making cookies um, and then we're gonna put them on, on the trays and then they have to rest for 30 minutes before they go into the oven. Then they go into the oven and then they have to bake and then they come out and they have to cool. So it's perfect for doing artwork, isn't it just brilliant? So what we're going to do is um, we're going to take off the recipe and just set it over to the side so that we can start playing. And I'm going to draw the design I want around here using um, my watercolor um, pencils, which are Derwent, and um, just kind of sketch in what I'm what I'm wanting. So I think um, so. We're going to just do some real simple um, pine boughs. And this, how easy is this? It's straight lines, you know, going up from where your recipe is going to go. And then we're gonna fill this in with gouache, but we just wanna see where we are, right? We just, we just want to have a rough idea. Now you could do it in pencil, but it makes more sense to do it in a water media and um, it's just easy to draw it in and get it all the way out here and uh, using you know, water media that we can just cover up, but it's, it's where we want to be. So I'm thinking I want to use um, a lighter green, like almost a sage green, and then just these little oval shapes for the leaves. And we can do one at the very top, one here one here. We're just going to keep it really simple. And then um, I'm thinking red, tiny red berries, just little. Don't have to have a lot of them, just a few, right? And then maybe we'll put a little red heart here. So we're just, we're just playing with it, right? And then we can come back and we'll use our paint. All right, so I've got my drawing in. And now I'm just going to um, paint what I want. And um, so I'm just following my drawing and um, just putting my little pine in here. And I'm going to do all of these and get them all done. Now, some of them will be more opaque than others and that's fine um, and we'll be able to highlight them and we can even come back with our pencils but it's um it's really fun to use and to use a different media it kind of it pulls you out you know, you get used to working in one media and then, um, you know, uh, working in something completely different really gives you a different perspective. So it's really, really fun to try something new, play with something different and break out of, you know, what you've been doing all along. So we're just putting in our little Foliage um, doesn't have to be completely recognizable. I mean, it's not. This isn't really um, <laughs> um, mistletoe. <laughs> it's a mistletoe-like thing. It's just you know gives you the idea of the holiday, and um, and it's just fun to play, right? Without any worry about doing something incorrectly because it, it's, you know, you are, there's no such thing as perfectionism, right? We let that go a long time ago. So we're just playing and having fun. And we know we can come back and use a pencil or a pen 
and play with it. Okay, I'm gonna get my candy canes in and then we need to go make some cookies. Okay, so we're in the kitchen and I'm making the cookies. I have all the dry ingredients in here and I'm just whisking them all together. You're gonna have that recipe, of course, um, because you're gonna see it because we're gonna be making it. We've been making it. And uh, so we've got that all whisked together. I'm gonna put this on and we're going to just give it a little whisk there. And then we're gonna put in the wet ingredients and that's three egg whites. This is so easy, only five ingredients. It's just really simple. And then a teaspoon of vanilla. And this is gonna get all nice and thick. It's just incredible. Can you see in there, honey? Mm -hmm. Okay, and now we're going to turn it off. And we're gonna use a little, a little dealio. <laughs> I think this is called a spatula or something. I'm not sure. Anyway, so just wanna get all the rest of the sugar in there. So it's that powdered sugar and egg white. And now we're gonna put in the chips. Give it a little quick whisk. They're mixed up. Don't beat it too long. And you can use any kind of chocolate chips you want. Um, you could use semi-sweet. I'm using really dark chocolate. Um, these are Enjoy chocolate. I don't know if you can get that brand, but it's a great brand. We love this brand. And it has absolutely no allergens of any kind in it, which is fabulous. Chocolate should be that way. Okay, now we're just going to take it off and we're going to put it on the baking sheets. I'm using a little tiny um, cookie scoop and um, your batter should be really thick like a brownie, um, like a brownie dough. And now we're going to be able to go back into the studio because we have to let these rest for 30 minutes and work on our, so we can work on our gouache painting. So that's, that's one of the wonderful things about cookies. I like making cookies because I can um, just go do what I need to do. So these rest and then after 30 minutes we pop them into the oven. You want to give them space. We pop them right in the oven and um, then they have to cool. <clears throat> and then we can eat them. So we're just coming back from the cookies and um, letting them rest and we're just filling in with our paint and um, the little dots, the little red dots I'm just going over with the gouache. I've mixed my paint with the gouache and um, I just love the little red hearts. And, uh, you know, the thing about gouache and watercolor is that it will reactivate. So once I get this finished, we're going to have to use a final fixative on it. Um, otherwise, um, it's, it could, you know, I, I don't know if this person will use this as a recipe or not, but um, if they do, I don't want it to just, you know, <laughs> run all over the counter. <laughs> So, um, so we'll, we'll use a fixative on it. So, and, and maybe they'll just put it in a drawer. Who knows? It doesn't matter. The, the whole point is giving a gift that's straight from the heart, filled with love at holiday. So I'm just going to take the white paint and I'm just kind of eliminating now. 
and um, I'm just going to come back. This is just with the straight gouache. Let's do it this way. <clears throat> Trying to keep my hair out of the frame so and the shadow <laughs> yeah and the shadow it's been really kind of hard but we don't have a lot of sunlight today so not really happy with that so we'll just get rid of that so and then striped candy canes there we go So gift giving should be fun, I think, and it should be simple, and it should be really sweet, and it doesn't have to be perfect, and and I wanted to tell you that we had a really great time on our vacation. We were very uh, careful, right? Aren't we careful? Very, very careful and <laughs> yes absolutely um, and um, and it was it was really nice to get away but I have to say it was a bit challenging at times wasn't it mm -hmm. um, and we managed to stay healthy and we wore masks the whole time and we had testing and but don't travel unless you really you know want to deal with all of the issues that you have to come up with you know you have to deal with right Flight cancellations. Yeah, like flight cancellations at the last minute. That's kind of troublesome. That was quite frustrating, actually. So, okay. Now, I think what I'm going to do is do um, gouache on one side, the white, and I think I'm going to do dark on the other side. So, let's do it, keep it consistent. of our pine pine needles and oh by the way if you want to join our group Don created a QR code is that right QR code and so you can um, where is it Facebook oh yeah I know it's on Facebook but um, where do they find the QR code is it going to be on the I'm in the pop it up Oh, it's gonna, he's going to pop it up on the screen for yeah, you. Put it so. in the comments. Yeah. Or, and, uh, in the uh, description. So in case you wanted to get involved in that. We have a really sweet group on Facebook. And um, we just love our Facebook group. Okay, okay we're going to have to go get the cookies and put them in the oven. And so... I'm just working this back and forth with white and dark paint just to make it stand out. And it's just straight lines, so it's not that hard. And candy cane, pretty simple, so it's just real easy design. Anybody could do this. And um, you just want it to be about the same length. Okay, so we've got all our pine done. So now we're gonna go get our cookies and put them in the oven and then we'll come back. Putting these in the oven, 350, and it's gonna be like 10 to 12 minutes. And that's on uh, oiled or sprayed. Uh, I just use olive oil um, on the parchment paper. In the oven, I'm still working my design and um, just having fun with it. Yeah, I'm hoping you will too. And um, what else did I need to tell everybody? Do you remember? I'm just putting a little white dot here on the heart. You don't remember, do you? No. Thank you for all your thumbs up, your likes, your shares. You already told them that. I did? Okay. <laughs> Good thing I have you. <laughs> okay. Doesn't hurt to say it again. Okay, I love you. Love the way it's turning out. I think it's really fun, and uh, I want to put just a little bit of white um, on our 
little mistletoe guys, which aren't really mistletoe because they would have white berries, but that's okay. It's just um, artistic license here. We're just goofing off and having fun. So I've decided I'm going to add just a little bit of a dark color here to the holly. Like that. A little bit here. The cool thing about it is if you don't like it, just take the white gouache and paint it out. So, you know, you can't, you can't really make a mistake playing with this. And, um, and you shouldn't be intimidated by it. Practice with it, play with it, and then see what you think. Um, okay, we're gonna go rescue our cookies hot out of the oven and I'm putting fleur de sel on the cookies. Now you can go to France to get fleur de sel or you can just get it on Amazon <laughs> and uh, just sprinkling it on here and this is like the salty sweet chocolate. This is like just perfect and we love them. As the cookies are cooling I can just um, do my little pen work. I thought I would just add a couple little things to the side like this. Not too much, but just um, like that. Let's see where else we could add one. Maybe one goes on this side here. I think we're pretty close to done. And then the recipe goes here. And I think I'm gonna cut it down just a little bit more. I deckled the edge um, of my little recipe and I'm just pulling off the little, little tads that get stuck on it. So it's gonna be just slightly shorter, which I think is really cool. And I'm going to glue that down. I'm just using gel matte medium. And there we go. Ooh, I don't want to get my hair in the way. But I want it to be centered too. There we go. That looks good. So I'm just edging it. Just kind of mirroring the uh, the deckle cut. And this is just a plain little metallic marker. So we're at Chow for now. And next year, 2022, I've got all kinds of fun things planned. Um, I hope you had fun making cookies and um, watching me illustrate a little um, present for someone. And uh, so we're gonna do Mamagami next year. We're going to um, do art journaling and we're going to do bookmaking, of course. I've got all kinds of wonderful stitching projects planned for you. And so until next year, ciao for now. Merry Christmas.